Hey y'all, I am all about sharing fun and easy DIYs to help decorate and kind of celebrate the different seasons and holidays in the year. And in today's video, I'm sharing three, kind of three and a half easy DIYs that you can make for your home. And if you don't know me and you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I got this scrap of craft paper from Hobby Lobby and I'm cutting it into strips and I'm just trying to organize it on top of this pumpkin that I also got on clearance from Hobby Lobby last year. And I'm just trying to organize it so that it looks good to me. I'm putting a layer of Mod Podge down and then placing the paper down and trying to make sure that there aren't any bubbles or wrinkles in the paper. And then now that it's dry, I did put a coat of Mod Podge all over the top. And now that it's dry, I'm just taking my sanding paper and I'm going around the edges instead of trying to like cut it off. Well, you see me cutting it just then, but instead of trying to cut all around that close, I have found that using the sanding block and sanding the edges works just as well. And I like how it turns out. So now this is kind of another project it's on the same pumpkin but I'm just cutting out some paper again that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be mod podging it to the back because I use this piece as just kind of a filler piece on my tiered tray and so it's not necessarily a standalone de decoration or anything but anyway just putting it on top and this is how the pumpkin turned out I think it turned out pretty cute and I'm excited to use it on my tiered tray Today's video is part of a playlist and it's hosted by Crafted by Corey. She does this monthly and I just, I just love participating and networking and connecting with all of these great creators on YouTube. And here's her channel. I'm going to have it linked in the description box below along with the playlist. I have this round wood circle and I'm pretty sure I got it from Hobby. No, I probably got it from Dollar Tree. I don't really remember where I got, but it's a wood circle. And I'm actually painting it with the color, sorry for the pause, dramatic pause. I'm coloring it, coloring it, I'm painting it with the color taupe gray from Anita's All Purpose Acrylic Craft Paint. Just giving it a good coat all the way around front or top and bottom, front and back on the sides. You see what I'm doing. Here's another way you can make a project without using a Cricut. I took this truck shape and on the back, I am just, as you can see, scribbling with my pencil because I'm gonna use that to be able to trace the image onto the wood piece. Now you could use, like, like I said, pencil or you could use chalk, you could use carbon paper, and then I just put it on the back. Then I'm taking the Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Antique Green to kind of outline and paint the truck. As you can kind of guess, I'm doing a little red truck, except I'm making mine green. And I'm really just filling in the lines, just like coloring, but I'm using a paintbrush and paint. Now I'm going in with Apple Barrel's black matte acrylic paint. This has quick drying too. And I'm just painting in the tires of the truck. And I think, you know, sometimes I see my friends do painting projects and I think, wow, they're just like so talented and they know how to do all of that. And I don't know, I'm just trying. And I think we all should just try, go out of your comfort zone a little bit and try something new and maybe it'll turn out cute. And now this little green truck needs some pumpkins. And so I'm taking Anita's all purpose acrylic craft paint in the color pumpkin to paint those on. And now I'm using <laughs> Anita's all purpose acrylic craft paint in the color espresso bean to create the stem of the pumpkin. And I'm taking that pumpkin color again and going around and just creating some dashes. And then I'm gonna go in with that espresso bean color and put in some dots just to kind of add a little, I don't know, a little, little decorative flare around the edges of the sign. 
of this little mini sign that I'm making. Here is how my little green truck turned out. I think it turned out pretty cute and the only thing that I would change, well, as you can see, I added the words fresh pumpkins on there and I did kind of take away the doors. Like I painted over where I had painted white for the door. I need to kind of go back and maybe add just a really thin little line to kind of accentuate where the door would be. But other than that, I think it turned out so cute and it looks cute on my tiered tray. I'm taking a little bit larger circle for this next project and I am using Waverly Wax in the color Antique to stain it. And I'm using a cloth that I've wet just a little bit to do it. And y'all, I need to figure out a way to apply Waverly Wax stain as a stain and not get it like all over my hands and all over my fingers because every time I do it, I feel like I'm just making a mess and my fingers turn like muddy brown and it doesn't come off super easily. So anyway, I'll figure that out. But until then, this is how I'm applying it here. And if you haven't already, I really would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you're notified every single time I share something new. And I'm also staining the back side of this project because I like it when both sides are finished out. I've taken some painter's tape to kind of mark off where I'm gonna be painting. And I'm using, again, that Anita's all-purpose acrylic craft paint in the color pumpkin to fill in this smaller area. And in hindsight, I should have gone and done like at least two coats on that area, but anyway. And then for the white section, I'm using Apple Barrel's white matte acrylic paint. I'm trying to be careful to not like force it so it doesn't get under the tape lines, but making sure it has a good coat because that stain is a little on the darker side. And now the big reveal, just peeling back that tape and the lines did come out pretty crisp. So I was really happy with that. But I can't get the tape off my fingers. Gosh. <laughs> and now I have some help. I have printed out with my Cricut the words, hello pumpkin. And I'm just trying to center it onto my, my project in a way that I think looks good. The only thing, um, I'll have this as a free cut file in the description box below. So if you want to recreate this, you can. And of course you can enlarge it and it might work better. But the only thing that I could really say is that this is the letters hello or in like the Ray Dunn kind of font and they're really hard to, they're really hard to see, but they're also really hard to manipulate in my opinion because when I go to pull the transfer tape off, they want to come up and they don't want to necessarily stay down and I probably would have used a different font if I did this project again. And then I'm just trying to decide what should I put on top? Should I put this little like pumpkins and, and uh, pine cones that I got from Dollar Tree? They smell really good by the way. Or should I just put a simple buffalo check bow? That's what I end up doing. I just do a little simple bow. And you know, Captain is just chilling like a villain right there. Not to be negative about my own project, but again, the hello is just a little too delicate looking. It's not standing out enough. And I think I should have made that white portion just a little bit larger, but overall, I really think it turned out pretty cute. I have so much fun making DIYs and sharing them with y'all. And if y'all are creating anything, it doesn't have to be my DIYs. You could be creating anything. Tag me on Instagram, tag me on Facebook and let me know because I'd love to see what you're creating. 
And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.